Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at constants. Now basically what a constant is, is it's a variable that you can use in your program or throughout a class that the value cannot be changed at runtime. So let's say you want to have um, pi. That's already built into the Visual Basic Math class but if you wanted to go ahead and do it yourself for some strange reason you can declare that as constant so you won't accidentally change the value of pi throughout the running of your program or so somebody else isn't isn't able to change the value of pi so let's go ahead and create a little demo for this we'll go ahead and select new project select windows forms application and we'll go ahead and call it constants we'll wait for that to load now let's come over here and open up our toolbox and we'll add three buttons. Button 1, button 2, and button 3. Didn't mean to do that. So let's just go ahead and shrink this down and we will leave the name value the same because it's not that important in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and go into our code and we will create a constant variable. So we'll start off by using the keyword private so it can only be accessed in this class and then we're going to type CONST which is short for constant and it says declares and defines one or more constants. So we can type private constant and usually when you're declaring a constant uh, in other languages um, you would use all caps and underscores for spaces. So we'll just type quarter value as double and we'll set that equal to 0.25 now if we go ahead and go into our form1.vb design double click on button 1 button 2 and button 3 we can go ahead and type message box dot show and then we'll type our variable in there which is quarter value and we can do that three times and you can see that if we run this quarter value is always the same so 0 0.25 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 now there's no way for us to change this in the program so if we type quarter value equals 0 0.5 we're going to get an error because constants cannot change through, um, anywhere in the program. They have to be, you have to set the value when, you're, when you declare them and after that you cannot do it. So we'll go ahead and run this one more time. And you can see it's 0 0.25 every time. Now let's go ahead and close out of this and later on when we are working with um, data like other data types such as objects of classes that we make ourselves you can also make a constant um, enumeration or a constant property or something like that so that it cannot be changed and constant is very useful when you want to protect a value from being changed so um, this is a very simple con uh, concept and um, you probably won't have to do any practice on this and um, if the new tutorial isn't out then just go ahead and wait for that and if not move on to the next tutorial and thanks for watching.